For some, it is the lighting of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, or the first night of Hanukkah that signals the beginning of the holidays. For others, though, it is the arrival of holiday beers to the taps at their local bar that signals the season has arrived. In the winter, when you've come in from skiing or you're coming from sledding or shoveling your driveway, you want something nice and warm and big. By big, master brewer Paul Mackerlane means high in alcohol. And his latest effort for Schmaltz Brewing Company is 14% alcohol by volume. Budweiser, by comparison, 5%. Vertical jubilation, as the name suggests, is a Hanukkah beer. And this year it's being offered in a special box with candles and directions about how to make your own beer menorah. <laughs> I guess everybody kind of likes the... Uh the you know, kitschiness factor and things like that. There's a lot of kitsch, which is a Yiddish word. Uh, so, you know, that word wouldn't exist without, you know, um, without the Jewish religion. So, uh, yeah, we, you know, there's people, people are very, especially the fact that it's kosher and you can have fun with it. It's, uh, it, it's a perfect fit. Trogues Brewing Company is another brewery making a name for itself in the world of beer, partly on the growing reputation of its holiday beer, the Mad Elf Ale. You'll get much more of the, the honey a 100-barrel tank of the Mad Elf Ale is brewed with 120 pounds of honey and 1,200 pounds of dried cherries. The Mad Elf is an expensive beer to brew, but owner Chris Trogner says the beer has opened doors. For us, it's a very difficult beer to brew. It takes about two months, just under two months for the total process. So it does tie up a lot of our fermentation capacity, so um, it has put a lot of strain on the brewery on the production side, but really has helped us you know, kind of grow and uh, get people to try Trogues for the first time. The beer is only available in eight states, but the brewery routinely gets calls from all over the world from people hoping to order a bottle. Like most holiday beers, Mad Elf Ale hits the shelves in mid-October, and by New Year's, beer fans are scouring their local stores hoping to grab that last case before it disappears again for the year. Warren Levinson, The Associated Press, New York.